testing, 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 testing. Blah. Okay. I'm scared to death to start recording again because I literally just recorded everything with my mic off. Yep. My mic was off the whole thing. The whole tutorial. The whole first impression. <sighs> I'll tell you, it's just one of these days. And I thought, well, you know, I can do a voiceover. And then I started recording the voiceover. And the whole time my lips were going. <laughs> but yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> Company. Welcome to my channel. Today I am kind of breaking things up a little bit. I'm starting with kind of a get ready with me first impression, playing around with a couple new products that I have, and uh, that's what I've got going here. And you might wonder, well, why does her face look? half-assed. That's because in the next video I'm doing, I'm actually going to be reviewing Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay's new Gwen UD palette, or whatever it is they're calling it. And so, uh, and that comes with lipstick, or lip gloss, lip not sure samples, and obviously the eyeshadow. So I'll be doing that look in the next video. But, if you want to see how I got this, keep watching. So today we are working with the new, well it's not new, but it's newest of their line, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Um, I am having a real hell of a time finding a foundation that works for me. Because one, I have very fair skin. Uh, two, I have very dry skin, particularly this time of year. Of course my skin's, especially right here under my nose, just kind of ignore that. like. Put a Groucho Marx mustache there and just pretend you don't see that. Because I just got over a really nasty cold and I don't know if any of you have had it happen where you blow your nose so much that you make it raw right here. <laughs> yeah, well I did. Anyways, back to the story. I have really dry skin normally under the best of circumstances and that's what happens after you hit your 40s and your hormones start going, you know, yeah, your skin dries out along with your hormones. So be ready for that, ladies. So I've been having a real hell of a time because every foundation I've bought, you know, everything on the market right now is just obsessed with matte. And of course, matte foundation and dry skin, yeah, <laughs> they just don't go together good. Especially when you have, you know, like my problem area is in particular my forehead because of, as you can see, I make a lot of expressions and I've been doing it all my life. So it's catching up now. And I have little fine lines on the, the corners of my eyes and then my furrow smile, because I smile a lot. So I guess if you're gonna have wrinkles, what better ones to have? So anyways, starting off, what color am I in? And of course, I can't read it on the bottle, so let's get the box. Okay, this says 110 equals R220. So whatever the heck that means, that's the color. But I will tell you, this is, it just, um, I don't know, the color is not right for me still. I should probably show it. Um, I have, even though I look really pink right now, I have, I believe, a neutral undertone. Because when I wear pink foundations, I look, it just doesn't look good. And when I wear yellow tinted foundations, I look ill. <laughs> so, I need, so, I need a foundation that is not only going to be luminous, that is going to be great for dry skin, but I need one that is for a la Casper Ghost. Mm -hmm. doesn't get much wider than this than just white like no pigment um, and I need one that isn't gonna sink into fine lines and wrinkles now I have been wearing this um, I actually bought this believe it or not oh, I man. actually purchased this right when it came out if that gives you an idea how long this has been sitting if any of you follow me on Instagram all you have to do is look at my pictures of the boxes and boxes and bags and bags of cosmetics sitting waiting to be reviewed because I don't know it drives my daughter nuts 
but I've got a real thing about showing stuff before I use it. I don't know why that is. I guess because you know what? Nothing drives me work. Nothing absolutely drives me batshit crazy that when I'm watching a review and somebody picks up the palette and goes, oh, and here's this beautiful palette I'm using, and you look at it and you go, oh, that's not beautiful. <laughs> that's an ugly ass mess. And, you know, my belief is that I'm here to show you the product and I'm here to make the product look good. Whether I like the product or not is besides the point. As a demonstrator, you know, it's my job to make the product appear nice. So, I like to show my products before I use them in brand new condition so that you can see the way it's going to look when you get it as opposed to showing it. You know, it's one thing if I use it in a tutorial and lift it up real quick and show you, but when I actually do a, you know, a haul or a first impression or whatever, I don't want to have used the product already and have it be a big old mucky mess. So it's just a peeve I have. Anyway, so needless to say, because of the time that I have, because of the fact I haven't had time to record, I literally have, oh my God. A lot. I have a lot waiting. This is one of those. Um, like I said, back to the long story short, I did purchase this right when it came out and at Sephora and I have worn it a couple of times. That is one thing I will say because, you know, foundation, I mean, it's, you know, there's not much to, to get messy with it as far as I'm concerned as long as I show you a bottle that, you know, looks nice and God, don't get me started on that. Oh, the, the stuff I see women show on these reviews. <laughs> stuff, and I think, did you bother to look at that, you know, like two seconds before you lifted it up to the camera and like, you know, maybe wipe it off? <sighs> Anyways, so because of the fact that, you know, this isn't something that's going to get destroyed or what have you, I have tried it several times. Now, I will tell you, one thing I've noticed with this, um at least in regards to my skin because as you get older one of the things that you have to deal with besides the wrinkles and the hormones and all that fun stuff um, is hair you know you get I've got a lot more hair on my face now um, than I did you know I always had kind of a light layer of peach fuzz now it's like super peach fuzz dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah it's trying to like start an orchard here um, and of course, it's not just this foundation, but it's any foundation uh, is going to be a problem if I'm putting it on with a brush and I'm stroking, you know, doing like this on my face and you go against the hairs, it, it, it doesn't work good. Because um, all it does is fill the hair up with foundation and then every little hair shows up on your skin like it's got a mouth of its own and it's screaming. Um, so... I have noticed in trying this with a brush, I've tried applying this with uh, my brush, with a kabuki brush, I've tried applying it with my hands, and I've tried applying it with a beauty blender. Applying, it, but I do end up with, um, you know, with it showing on my, it, it just doesn't give as even of a coverage. Even with my hands, it, it was streaky when I applied it with my hands and with the brush. Um, you know, I really had to buff it. You know, I first patted in with a brush and then really buffed it and worked it in. And then I still ended up having to take a wet beauty blender and tap afterwards because all the hairs on my face were coated. So it's just, yeah, it wasn't pleasant. Sorry for the phone ringing in the background. Um, but when I applied it with a beauty blender, it applied really nice, <clears throat> but it didn't apply as full coverage but it is buildable so that's one thing that's nice um, another thing I will say about this foundation this is my first time ever using a makeup forever foundation uh, so I, I don't know anything about their you know I don't have a history with their foundations but I was a little shocked that it didn't it, it didn't last as long as I expected it on me I started seeing it breaking down particularly around my chin and mouth area and kind of on the nose area here. Um, so I don't know. I mean, that's just, I've, I've worn it now four or five times and each time I've seen that happen. And I have this lovely 
little wrinkle here that's made itself known in the last several months and what drove me nuts each time I wore this and again it could be every foundation I have no idea because this is a new friend and this is a new foundation <laughs> um, but this little wrinkle right here like within an hour it looked like somebody taken a black line and drawn it across there it was so obvious and I kept trying to pat it out oh it's just it drove me nuts so anyways so let's get started putting makeup forever ultra HD foundation ba -ba -da! yeah so let's try this pat now I did um, look into this foundation a little further and I know that uh, from what I've read about it that they say that it should be applied preferably with a beauty blender so um, it doesn't surprise me that you know that they recommend that because it definitely does apply um, nicer with a you know smoother with a beauty blender but actually I'm just gonna do it like this but if you're looking for you know fuller coverage then you might have to you know build it up a little bit or build it up in some areas so while I do this, cue music maestro. My final stand, yeah, and that's why they call me. I don't like the way it looks sitting on my face right now for some reason, but it just kind of looks like it's sitting on my face instead of really blending in with my skin. I'm just going to take a little MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to give a couple little squirts to my beauty blender here, and I'm going to see if this will... Oh, maybe I got it a little too wet. Can you see what I'm talking about or is it like around my eyes here especially it just to me it feels like it it literally is just sitting on top of my skin it's the oddest sensation hang on here do you want to try another squirt okay well let's just Make sure all the little furs are cleaned off and let's move on to the next step and see what she does. Okay, the next thing is that's a new product to me, not new on the market obviously, is the Naked Skin. And I have it in, let's see what color here, Fair Neutral. So I think it's <laughs> pretty much as white as you can get. You know, if there's anything that's going uh, gonna go on my skin, it's pretty much got to be as white as it can be. So, I tell ya. gonna say <laughs> I'm, I'm down to my junk not my junk brushes but my you know my uh, ones I don't normally use just extra type and off-brand type ones because all of my brushes are stolen and I just was getting ready to pick up this Stila one here that I got with one of the kits I bought and <laughs> I picked it up yeah so I guess we won't be using that one right now so much for that's brand new I've never even used it. Just took it out of the box and set it there. So, let's see here. 
I'm just going to use a little bit of this uh, e.l.f. high definition powder and we're just going to, I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to haul that I haven't used, about a whole bunch of NARS and including um, uh, their crystal powder I believe is what it's called and along with a bunch of other stuff and I'm going to be hauling that pretty soon because I want to because I'm determined to use that stuff before it's like, you know, 10 months old like all the rest of the stuff I have is ridiculous. I guess I need to either get busy recording or I need to just start using stuff and see like this isn't normally the brush I would use here but you know beggars and choosers and all that I went to an event and thinking that how neat it was to oh this is horrible to volunteer my time and stuff and lost all of my makeup brushes Jesus look at what it's doing on my forehead here it's horrible anyways all of my makeup brushes uh, my ring light that's why my lighting's really bad here so sorry and uh, my palettes that had all of my pans in them so yep so that's why I'm resorting to something I wouldn't normally use okay so now I have to start all over my brush collection the only thing I have left of part of my brush collection I'm looking at it sitting over there is my Sigma brush case because I didn't bring it with me so let's do a little let's add a little bronzing to my face to the face <laughs> Ah, every time I say the word to my face, I think, to the face! <laughs> if any of you know what that is, then let me know in the comments below. Anyways, like I said, ignore the brushes, because these are like, you know, oh yeah, these are bad, and these are not going to apply my makeup right, which is really going to suck. But let's just try it anyway. So what is this? This is um, Tarte Park Avenue Princess here. Just gonna use a little bit of this if I can even get it on the brush. Holy shamoly! Oh boy, I really need to get new brushes. This is horrible. This is just horrible. I haven't even had time to, and I certainly didn't. You know, I budget so much money a, a month for, you know, my makeup, my makeup channel, and all that buying new brushes, new light, and new makeup pans was not in that. So that's really gonna, yeah, it's gonna really screw things up. Anyhow, and this is just, a, this is a brush I bought a long, long time ago. It, it says Kirkland. Does that give you an idea? So it's it's an old Costco brush. <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. Now I also have, I should have done that now, but I have uh, some new stuff from Anastasia including her Fair, her uh, cream contour kit in Fair. And I'd like to, I want to try that out. God knows how I'm going to do with that because I have never before worked with cream contour. So it did not go on good at all. <sighs> okay, now I'm going to take out. I love. Oh my God, I love Tarte blushes. I, I'm hooked. Seriously. I got this kit at Ulta. Um, you're probably going to see it in my Ulta haul. But, and it has a, another brush, or a little brush here, which I need right now, so that'll help. And then it has a full-size blush, a, uh, let's see here, a uh, deluxe size moisturizing primer, a deluxe size of their Amazonian Butter Lipstick, and a deluxe size of their Lights Camera Splashes, which in this case is their water, that's the waterproof version. Love that mascara too. Anyway, so I just took this out of my haul in the other room getting ready to do that because 
I wanted the blush to use. You'll have to look at my haul if you want to see the rest of that. What came from Ulta and everything and what's in that. But this is what I was after right here. This is in the color Timeless. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So let's see. Oh boy, this brush is horrible. Because I know how pigmented these are. And I know how well they pick up color. Or how, you know, you don't even hardly have to touch them. And this brush just... Oh well. So be it. Whoever stole all my stuff though, I hope. I'm not gonna say it. Shame on you. I hope you have conscience somewhere. Cause this is not a pretty sight. See? Brushes, you know, you don't realize how much of a difference they make having quality brushes until they're gone. And then you're, you're stuck with some old crap you had that you're having to make do with. Okay, so we've got, uh, let's see here, the Makeup Forever Foundation on, the Naked Skin Under the Eyes, uh, Tarte Park Avenue Princess for bronzer, and Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Timeless for blush. So, I think what I'm going to do is just do a quickie. Um, I use this uh, Maybelline Dream Wonder, and this is in the color. What is it? Porcelain Ivory. Yeah, number 10, Porcelain Ivory. And what I like about this, usually I have a buffing brush, which I don't have now. So, what I'll have to take is. I guess I'll just use this little tiny kabuki I have here from e.l.f. And I just lightly tap it in it. And I, after I put on my bronzer and blush and stuff, I really like to go through and... I guess this is kind of like... Um, I see people use uh, Max... What is it? Is it the Natural Skin Finish or something? I see a lot of... I think that's what it is. I don't know. I'd have to look. But I see a lot of people go over their foundation. Of course, they don't have their blush and stuff on, but I just think it, I like to really blend things in afterwards. I don't know, it's something I've always done. And I just add a little bit of this because I think having a little bit of powder really helps to, I don't know, what do you think? Does it look better blended now? Okay. We're gonna try another new product. This is Definitely a get ready with me first impression of all kinds of new products. And this one is the Gimme Brow, Benefits Gimme Brow. And I've been really excited about using this. Um, I hauled this quite a while ago <laughs> in my first Sephora haul. And I haven't used it. So let's, boy, that, look at that brush. Look at how tiny that little baby is. But boy, I'll tell you, actually, let me get, I think I have... I think I still have a, there we go, one of my survivors, thankfully. Oh, my eyebrows are an absolute mess right now. I'm just kind of going for a quick, you know, and I'm not going to do any eye makeup right now because um, the next video I'm going to record is an unboxing and first impression of... Um, Gwen Stefani's, okay. the Gwen UD palette, I think they're calling it. So, if you want to see that, uh, just take a peek. It'll be somewhere after this one. Rebel souls, deserters we've been called. Chose that just reminded me I wanted to do... I'm going to be doing a, uh, just kind of having some fun with some makeup here and doing a look that, um, oh god, what's her name? Lady Gaga with her new look that she's got going on uh, American Horror Story Hotel, if anybody's watched that. Whack-a-doodle. I think, uh, well, I'll tell you, those creators of American Horror Story... I'm an author and I've got creativity abound. But boy, I'll tell you, they's out there. 
without a doubt. But, you know, gotta respect it because that's, gotta respect the ability to create because I know how hard of work it is. Okay. Well, you know, it gave, a, gave some color. That's nice. I mean, especially, you know, if you're not like me, I mean, like I have my brows are used to be very formed and every in formation like little soldiers and I could have used something like this easily just gone over it including on the tail and it would have been perfect but now as you can see here what my you know the brows of my tail are doing it's like they're growing longer but getting sparser age it does such wonderful things so what I need to do is get my I'm gonna use my brow pomade I, no I'm just gonna use my pencil hang on here I'm just gonna use the, the normal one I've been going to for right now which is the one by Chella and this is in what is this tunnel on tantalizing taupe and let's just get this a little cleaned up real quick cue music show you guys I totally forgot be right back one thing I wanted to sh tell you guys about that I totally forgot about I should have done it before I went on and did my brows that's too late okay um, this is my order from actually Jeffree Star Cosmetics unfortunately it's unreal out of all of his colors you know I I'm absolutely would love to have his entire collection because they're one of the few liquid lipsticks I can wear that don't dry out my lips and you know make them look like, you know yeah anyways but um, you know one of the wonderful things I have let's see here I'll just tell you what colors I do have I have unicorn blood posh spice um, celebrity skin red rum blow pony and weirdo so, I don't have very much. I wanted his Christmas collection so badly. Ho, 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 and doll parts. Oh. You spend so much time advertising something and you can never get it. Unreal. Okay, but what I did want to show you, and I think, you know, these have, you know, people look at them and think, oh, this is, you know, they're just liquid lipsticks and this, but I wanted to show you the amazing different uses for um, with these because they're <clears throat> at least in Jeffree Star's case they're pretty much safe to use you know if you can think of a place to use that's probably pretty safe to use it <laughs> so what I'm gonna do this one is actually posh spice and you can see um, I selected this one because it's kind of got a, a little bit of you know it's a brown brownie gray Topi gray. So what I'm going to do, I'm using a, you know, just a angled brush that isn't particularly important. Not that any of my brushes right now are since they're all my second string brushes. All my good ones are floating around in somebody else's hands right now. Too bad I don't have a fungus or I'd wish you'd get one. Okay, so <laughs> I just put a little bit on this brush here. And lucky duty, yeah, look at that. Now, of course, this color does not match my brows perfectly, but that's not the point of what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you was that if you want to, say you want purple brows, you're doing a fun look or whatever, hello, yeah, look at that. I mean, literally, you can paint these on your brows just like you would paint on your coloring you know just like your brow pomade or whatever it is that you use and 
And I'll tell you one thing, if there's one brow color that will last in your brows for absolute ever and not move. You know, and the other thing is too, some people can't afford all the different products or don't want to for that matter. You know, maybe you don't want to spend all the money on different products. So buy one. You know, buy one that, you know, I mean, there's people out there who have black hair. He's got black. There's people out there who are blonde. He's got plenty of these taupey colors. You know, so brunette. He's got browns. So, you know, I mean, and of course you can always mix and play and it doesn't have to be necessarily Jeffree Star's in particular, but this is just what I like because I like the consistency of these and the fact that they're safe to use everywhere on your face. But of course you can see the color difference considerably right off the bat because, you know, this is a different shade color than this one. Uh, but just wanted you to see, you know, you get the point pretty, you know, it's pretty cool. So, but I'll tell you one thing, this on your eyebrows will last longer than probably any brow product on the market. Well, now I got to put some on the other brow a little bit or I'm gonna, yeah, we got to do something to even that up a little. So there is a la Shelby eyebrows, courtesy of Jeffree Star's Posh Spice. Okay, so, and hopefully I can get Ho 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 and Mistletoe, and I'd love to have Drug Lord to mix it with all kinds, oh my god, and I could use Drug Lord in that look, I had a really good white to put on my eyebrows for the, um, that look, for Lady Gaga's look for American Horror Story Hotel because you know she's got the white eyebrows and I was thinking oh if I had that drug lord I could just put it real lightly on the tips here and just ghost it over my eyebrows. Oh, that'd be so cool. Anyways but whatever brush you do use for that just make sure that you know you clean it right away because otherwise your brush will get ruined. Okay so there we go. What else do I need? Oh let's see here. I want to try I actually got this in a one of my subscription boxes, and this is uh, So Susan, and what is this called? Statement Skin is what it says on the box. Comes in a little doohickey like so. I wanted to try this out. Oh, looky that. Interesting. Let's do a little, ooh, a little swatchy swatchy. You see that? Look at that shine. Now that's just painting it right on the skin. Let's see what she looks like when we blend it in a little bit. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Huh, that's nice. Okay, so, like I said, I'm not going to do anything with my eyes. No mascara, no primer, no nothing, because um, I am doing the Gwen Stefani palette next. I wonder if I should... Uh, I wonder. Let's try this. It melts real nice on the, melts down the finger real nice when I touch this. So I can feel it's, um, yeah, it's got a real nice melting point. So it's going to blend well with this. Because I just didn't want to, you can, I guess you could just take this and do that, but. Nice brush I have left, which is my Sigma Kabuki. I just want to. Oh, yeah, that blends real nice. You see that? I always see people looking to see their highlight in the camera. I think, what the hell are they doing? Why can't they see it? And now I'm doing it myself. Like, yeah. This one, yeah, I can see that one easy. This one, since my <laughs> screen's over there, but I'm trying to look at you and show you my cheek, I'm like, <laughs> ah, Jesus. The things you learn when you start actually recording, you know, you watch these videos all the time and you think, what the hell are they doing that for? Then you start recording the videos yourself and you go, ah, got it. And that's why they
I can see that. Look at that. Holy shamoly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get off of there. Okay. Let's just try a little on the chin of what's left over. Maybe a little. I don't want to do it up there because I don't want to bring out my wrinkles. And I'll tell you one thing. You know, what I've learned about highlight is it's going to bring out whatever you put it on. So. You know, if you want to bring out your lips, put it on your lips. If you want to bring your brow forward, just remember, your highlighter is going to bring something forward. Doesn't matter what it is, it's going to bring it forward. Contact. Pushes back, highlight raises up. So, like this, you know, you see a lot of women put it up here above their brow. Well, because you can see my Grand Canyon's real nice right now. That foundation just literally, I don't know what happened, but it brought every one of them out. If I take this highlighter and I put it up here above my brow and it gets anywhere near these wrinkles on my forehead, it is going to magnify them a hundred times. So another thing I don't do that a lot of women do, you see I'm putting highlighter right here on the peaks of their lips. Now I do put some contour down here usually, but I don't put highlighter up here. And the reason why is because I'm getting the fine lines and wrinkles on my lips and when I put highlighter there, it emphasizes them and makes them look you know, makes them look from fine lines to, you know. So, just remember, contour recedes, highlighter brings forward. So, whatever you want to bring forward, honey, yeah, bring it forward. Your cleavage isn't big enough, put a little on there. You want your decollete to stand out, put a little on there. <laughs> okay, I think we are done for now. I've got a base face and I will deal with my eyeballs and my lips in the next video. So if you want to check out Gwen Stefani Urban Decay Palette and my first impressions of that and I'll be applying that, stay tuned and check out my next video. Other than that, on this one we did Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. We did the uh, Urban Decay Naked Under the Eyes there. We did uh, Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. We did Tarte, Tarte, excuse me, Amazonian Clay Blush in Timeless. And we just did the So Susan uh, Highlighter, which I, like I said, I got that in one of my subscription boxes. Oh, and uh, Cella on the Brows along with um, what is that little guy's name? Benefits Gimme Brow. And then of course I ended with Jeffree Star's liquid, Velour Liquid Lipstick in uh, Posh Spice. So anyway, so that's it. So thanks for checking this out and getting ready with me. And until next time, love ya. Peace out. <laughs>